Right, so something very exciting happened a couple of weeks ago. I got an email from Adam Audio, and anyone who doesn't know who Adam Audio is, Adam Audio are manufacturers of studio monitors. They emailed me and said, would I like to check out a pair of the Adam A7Xs? And I said, yes, I'd love to, because to be totally honest, I've been a fan of Adam speakers or monitors for many, many years. Now, just to clear the air and get on the same page, I wanted to say that Adam, in no way have they pressured me to give a good review or a bad review or anything like that. This is all coming from the heart. And uh, also, so you know, I do come from a Genelec, or should I say Camp Genelec. You know, I have had Genelecs for 25 years now. My last pair of Genelex were the 1030A. Beautiful speakers, very, very expensive. In fact, probably in today's pricing, probably double the price of these. So what would I think of a pair of speakers that were half the price of the Genelex? And I have to say, after breaking them in for the last couple of weeks and listening to my mixes and other people's mixes on these speakers, I have to say that I am actually pretty impressed. These speakers are really, really well built. They're very solid. The big revelation that I had was the technology that they use for their tweeters, which they call ribbon tweeters. So if you have a look at these over here, notice that they're not domes. So most speakers use domes. So all the sound just comes out of that small area, but with ribbon tweeters that they actually fold it up. So there's more surface area for the highs to come out. And to my ear, it sounds cleaner, more immersive, less distortion. It helps for working for long periods of time. I found that working for seven, eight hours a day on mixing, these speakers really, really were great as far as fatigue were concerned. Big ups to Adam for a really well-built studio monitor. Now, people usually call these speakers this type of level they would say uh, these are called prosumer. So prosumer is a word for professional consumer. Any world-class studio, mixing facility, mastering facility, recording studio could use these speakers with pride. Adam actually have a great reputation when it comes to quality. Another thing that I really liked about these speakers was the solidness of them. You know, they, they, they're pretty heavy. I think they're around... Seven kilograms or eight kilograms, I think 20 pounds or something like that. And they're very solid. That means they don't bounce around. There's no resonant frequencies. They're not lightweight. They're pretty strong, which means they can handle. The bass, the bass response on these speakers is excellent. i got to say, it's got these two ports at the bottom. And that helps to lower the frequency range down and makes the bass really good. It goes down pretty low. You don't need a pair of subs with these speakers. I could easily hear right down to like 45 hertz, maybe 50 hertz around that area, which is perfectly fine for mixing. And the mid-range is also very, very clear. So I was impressed. Now let's talk about price. Per speaker, it's $750. So that's $1,500 for a pair. And I think that that is damn good value for money if you consider that there are a lot of speakers that are sound and quality-wise at the same level as this that are almost double the price. So I would highly recommend that if you are prepared to spend about $1,500, Adam A7X, brilliant choice. You can't go wrong. And I'm sure these speakers could give you 20 years of happiness and joy making your music. Now, a couple things before I carry on. These speakers need to be broken in. So what that means is you can't just take them out the box and start using them. You should actually what I like to do is I just put it on a top 40 playlist on a loop, put it at a decently loud volume, and then close the studio. My studio is completely soundproofed and sound treated. And then what I do is close the door so that it doesn't bother me in the house. And I run it like that. I run them for maybe two days like that, two or three days, day and night. And that breaks them in. So I would also say that when you get brand new pair of A7Xs, you don't want to like out the box be judging them. Give them those three days of breaking them in. And I use the word breaking in very lightly and delicately. Please don't break your speakers. 
don't break your speakers come on what have they done to you especially beautiful speakers like this so yes break them in another thing i would highly suggest is make sure that the speakers are at the right height very important you can see these tweeters are very very much at the heart of my ear too often i see people with the speakers mixing with the speakers too high or too low they must be in the right range and another thing a good piece of advice i have them on floor stands they're not on the desk if you put them straight on the desk it's going to mess up the sound they're not going to sound great another thing i'd suggest is sound treat your studio bass traps absorber panels um ceiling mounted absorber panels diffusers if your room is bigger than four meters so if you use these speakers in an unsound treated room they're going to actually magnify the floors of your room and you're going to think that these speakers are crap. No, they're not bad speakers. They're designed to be in a sound-treated studio. So that means that if you put them in the right room, they're going to give you a sound that you can trust when it comes to mixing. And that's very, very important because you want to be able to mix in your room with your speakers and feel, okay, I trust these. This mix sounds great. Now, you should check your mixes on earphones and car sound systems and hi-fi and so forth. But you want to be, get 90% of the way there in your studio with your main set of studio monitors. And you can trust these speakers. Adam did not pay me any money to say this. This is coming from the heart. I am a big fan. In fact, I would go so far as to say that maybe I've switched camps and maybe I think I'm going to keep these speakers instead of my Genelec. So I'm very impressed. Yes, there's other versions of the speaker. There's a, a 3, 5, 7 and there's a bigger one. I think it's an 8 inch. So the 7 stands for 7 inches. Personally, I don't even see what the point of anything bigger than this would be in, a, in your average home studio. If your room is 3 to 4 meters long or wide, which is what, 10 feet? If your room is around 10 feet length or width, these are the right size speakers. The only time you really need bigger than this is if you're going into a really, really big room. If you've got an even smaller room, you could even get slightly smaller speakers maybe one level down another thing i want to talk about is one more thing before i go is the back of the speaker so at the back of the speaker there's tone control so there's a low shelf a high shelf and there's an overall tweeter level i found that a lot of studio monitors have confusing dip switches and strange ways of adjusting the tone of the speaker at the back these are very very easy it's just use a little screwdriver or a coin or something just to, to put a few notches and i made small adjustments i put the bass down one db and i put the highs up one db and that was right for my taste so yes anyway big thumbs up from me i 100 percent endorse these speakers and i think that these adam 7x are awesome speakers so if it's in your budget don't be shy just go for it and go and purchase these speakers and then you won't have to think about it again and i would love to know what do you think of the adam audio a7x's as a pair of studio monitors have you had experience or are they on your wish list is there something that you'd love to have so let me know let's chat about the adam audio a7x's if you enjoyed that lesson and you'd like to take your music mixing and mastering to that top 10 level then we would love to help you at advancedmusicproduction.com click the link to learn more about our amp membership and our amp private coaching programs